What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark David and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I'm going to show you some updates that I made with my M1 Finance Dividend Portfolio. I'm really excited to show you guys how my $14,000 Dividend Portfolio has improved and what I plan on doing with it. So I'll show you the changes I made, some of the stocks I added and stocks I removed. But let's first look at our the game plan. So I'm going to put TYLD at 2% right now. Um, I'll show you what I did with TYLD. Uh, Lumen Technologies, which is CenturyLink, a very nice dividend. I posted a video on them, as well as Unilever. I'm going to continue to have Unilever on there. British American Tobacco, I have 3%. Pembina Pipeline, 3.2%. Westrock, 4%. Aflac at 4 Enbridge at 4 BIP. Um, at 4%, Exxon Mobil at 4 Fast Snow at 4 Spirit Realty Capital at 5%, First Energy at 5%, Coca-Cola at 5 Altria at 5%, Omega Healthcare Investors, I have it at 6 because I'm attacking the real estate sector a little bit harder, as well as Spirit Realty. AT&T, I have it at 5% right now. Uh, Pfizer, I have it at 5.5%, Seagate right at 6%, and my real estate sector slash business development companies I have um, at 20%. So I'm gonna try to get that to right around 20. Okay, you can see people are texting me right now. So I got rid of QYLD in one of my sections and I put it into LTC properties, okay? So I'll show you why, okay? So here's my business development companies section, uh, Stellas Capital Investment Corp and Gain, uh, Gladstone Investment Corporation, uh, they distribute a very nice monthly dividend. They have increased their dividend over time. I have them also on my E-Trade dividend portfolio. I have up to 100 or so shares with gain. So basically each pay period, I'm buying um, a new share of gain pretty much. So if I can get to at least 1,000, 2,000 monthly dividends, that way I can start increasing my um, revenue so I, I can start buying more stocks from there. So my monthly rates ETFs, I have LTC right here. So let me, I want to get nice monthly dividends from these guys. They have increased their dividend over time. I may plan on adding a stag to this. I know I have stag my E-Trade dividend portfolio, but I just haven't ruled out um, putting them in here because they're such a great stock. They increase their dividend over time. And LTC Properties is another stock that is very nice. It distributes a monthly dividend. They're not going anywhere. They're just going to improve. Now, Iron Mountain, everybody's so iffy on these guys with this stock. But let me tell you, this stock is the way they store stuff, okay, with their market cap and their dividend yield, they store medical stuff for years. And people are on contract with them. They also convert it to the cloud uh, format. So I'm going to continue to invest in those guys. And IIPR, a uh, very phenomenal stock. Right now it's at 211.48. Uh, uh, you know, this is just going crazy. I can't even keep up with it, which is nuts. And um, very nice dividend yield. Again, I only have X amount of shares. One thing I wish I would have done was got, you know, um, put way more shares, at least get to 25. But, you know, I'm okay with this right now. I'm going to continue to put money in it and reinvest and get a lot stronger. So uh, what a phenomenal stock. I mean, it's just way up there. It's not going anywhere either. I mean, it's it's just great, great stock. So really, those are kind of the changes that I made. Um, AT&T, I'm right at uh, 25 shares. And um, I plan on, you know... I have it at a certain percentage. I, I If I can get to 100 shares, I mean, I'm rolling with this stock. So 5% right now. The, the original plan was once I get to $10,000 um, in each section, which I'm at, what, 3,000? Um, I'll probably do 25,000 this time. Once I hit 25,000, then I'm going to start changing things around because I need to get more shares in these companies. 
So I'm attacking this sector right now, and I have these stocks as of right now, high yield dividend stocks, um, strong stocks, and then I'm going to start um, getting more specific. So again, you know, I'm getting close to, you know, I'm at fourteen thousand dollars. So my goal is to get to a hundred and just keep on going. But so far, so good. So I like what I see. Things are improving, things are getting stronger, and I'm excited to see how things are going. And again, if you sign up, uh, I'm gonna put in the comment section, signing up, you get uh, $30 pretty much, and I get $30, I think they still have their special going. But if not, um, if you sign up using my affiliate link, you get uh, $10 basically, or $30. I think it's still 30, don't quote me on that, but we both get money, so I'm just letting you know that uh, you pretty much almost buy an AT&T AT &T share signing up, which is not bad. I mean, the average price is $28.93. So you get basically a free share of AT&T when you sign up with this $30 special. So let me know what you think of this video. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. All my videos um, are free. I don't believe in charging people. Some people have Patreon accounts. I may do a Patreon account just for fitness. Um, I have decided on that. But, um, you know, that's kind of what I plan on doing with my stocks and my dividend portfolio. So um, thank you again. You guys have been phenomenal and have a good one.